I'm Robert Monroe, and I'm the author of Human in the Loop Machine Learning. I've been working in machine learning for about 20 years, uh, running a real range of different products uh, across natural language processing and computer vision use cases. And this book is about what I think is one of the most important problems in all of technology today. Uh, how should humans and artificial intelligence work together to solve problems? Uh, and this is something you're probably coming across already in your everyday life. So if your car parks itself, if you buy products online, or if you speak to your in-home device, you're already taking advantage of technologies that have used uh, fairly sophisticated human-in-the-loop systems. Uh, so for example, your car can park itself because humans have spent thousands of hours uh, telling car algorithms or computer vision algorithms, this is the side of the road, this is a pedestrian, this is a sign, etc. Uh, similarly, if you buy products online, the reason that what you search for actually turns up in your results is because humans have spent thousands of hours matching potential search strings to potential products. Um, and again, similarly, your in-home device can understand your particular language and your particular accent uh, because it being trained on thousands of hours of recordings of similar commands uh, with people with languages and, and accents uh, to yours. So we'll cover four main areas in this book, active learning, annotation, transfer learning, and putting it all together with continuous human in the loop systems. Uh, throughout the book, I'll go over a number of different examples uh, in computer vision and natural language processing. Uh, so no matter what your use case, uh, you'll be able to see how it maps to the problems that you were trying to solve. Uh, one particular problem that we'll be working on as an example throughout the text is in disaster response. Uh, so I'm a professional disaster responder uh, and we will have a very large data set in this book, uh, which will show that immediately after a disaster, you can use human in the loop systems to very quickly adapt a machine learning model uh, to uh, address uh, who wants need, uh, who needs supplies, uh, what other kind of responses are necessary. Uh, so in the process of learning about all these algorithms for, for human in the loop, uh, machine learning, uh, you'll also be working on a, a really important uh, data set that can have an impact on the world. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, learning more about human in the loop machine learning, uh, uh, please click on the, the link in this video uh, where you can um, uh, get access to the book that I'm writing. Uh, and I really hope that you get a lot out of it. Thank you.